Taurus, welcome into your reading. This is from the 16th until the 22nd of May, which is from the Monday until the Sunday. It's around about the middle of May energy. We're going to do a love tarot reading for you and get out the energies of you and another person. So we're going to put your person's energy here, yours on this side, and then we're going to get the main energy out, which is the oracle cards that I'm using. So, and we're also going to see what we don't see coming. Okay, so let's start out here and see what's going on with my Tauruses out here. There is a new beginning here. You've got a four of wands this is the four of wands in the original tarot and you've got the strength card this is a very strong new beginning okay because this is the strength card it's leo so let's have a look and see in your person's energy whomever you may be thinking about right now this can even be somebody that you know but it can also be somebody that you don't know that you need to know about at this time so let's have a look and see for you what is going on let's have a look and see what is going on with my tauruses who is this person that card has remained there is a very speedy incoming energy we've got fire sign coming up here with the king of inspiration that is also a fire sign we've got a four of cups this is a new person coming into your life You've got a new person. <laughs> You've got a new person coming into your life, Taurus. Um, this is a new person coming in here. I, You might know them, but I don't think you've been in a relationship with this person. Or they can be somebody completely new. Cards are just falling in your reading. So this person can be somebody completely new that's coming into your life. Or somebody that you may know currently. But I don't feel like you are connected to them in a romantic way at all. Um, you're not sure about maybe connecting at this point in time from what I'm seeing on this side over here so let's see what is coming up cards are once again falling so let's see this person is thinking about you whomever this is um they are thinking about you at this point in time yeah there is a person that is taking their time here around you i almost feel like it can be somebody that you already know this is somebody that's around you but they're taking their time to to come in towards you but they are definitely about to make a move someone is about to make a move yeah there's a possibility that they're a fire sign because i see aries i see leo sagittarius coming up with the king of um inspiration and then we've got the the control energy down here which is the which is strength which is the leo card and then we've got chariot coming in as well there's a water sign with the with the cancer coming at the bottom there with chariot empress on your side and the star card you are somebody's dream taurus what is happening here you you've been this energy here i can see by your side let's start with you here with the four of cups there um this is you really not being sure or being very very careful who you allow into your life which taurus i think is really a good thing um you got an eight of cups on top here as well which is an indication and it's showing that you have had an ending of some sort in the past year it's kind of um understandable because we do see a four of wands here which is a new beginning of a new cycle um you're heading towards a place where you want to be happy congratulations taurus <laughs> you want to be happy you've got the empress here you've got the star card you are working on yourself i'm very happy it's wonderful to see that in your reading uh it's interesting i feel like these cards here are an indication of you but i also feel like this is what's coming so with the strength card coming up with the empress with the star card all of these are major arcanas right here on the bottom a lot of it's attached to you and that's how i'm feeling it there's you really focusing on your life you really focusing on what do you want to do to feel happy? Um, you're focusing on building your dreams with the star card on goals that you want to achieve. With the Empress there, that's a card of self-love. It shows self-love. It shows doing the right thing for yourself. It shows that you're um, you're spending the right time with yourself and taking care of your own needs which is very beautiful you're not gonna allow just anybody in okay with that strength card coming up there as well it's an indication that you're building your life you're making yourself stronger and stronger but now you see this person that you're becoming or that you're building you know it's like this somebody sees this Somebody is seeing this. It can even be somebody that you're about to meet. Because with a chariot card in the reverse position, this can be an indication that your guys' paths has not yet crossed. That the path that they are on and the path that you are on is still separate. And you're about to cross paths with this person. Especially because the Knight 
of um, swords is up there. Um, that's really nice, interesting energy. I really like this. When you do, if you do know who this is, you might. But if you don't know and you're really going, I don't know this person, I feel like your paths are about to cross, okay? With the Knight of Swords there, that's them. They will be the one to take action towards you. Because when you meet this person, <laughs> you know, um, they're really going to look at you. They're really going to look at what kind of person you are. Because this is the Queen of Swords and she's like literally looking this way. And it's like she's looking at what kind of person you are. She's looking at the strength that you carry the goals and dreams that you've achieved, how you care about yourself and others around you, because the Empress is a very nurturing card. And I feel like this person has a lot to think and they really go into deep thought when they meet you. They really want to get to know you and understand you differently. The Queen of Swords is all about these goals as well. So the Queen of Swords, a male or female energy, is also about reaching goals, striving, achieving, growing, getting better. Sometimes you can be, think of them as wanting to manifest the life of their dreams, but they see you doing the same thing. So I really feel like this is what is attracting them to you. Um, they will let you know very, very quickly. Once they've made up their mind, and I don't think they will take long to make up their mind about you, not with the Queen of Swords being there they very very practical very intelligent energy and very analytical in some kind of way so they kind of like weigh up all these different it's like they're doing analytics you know it's like they're doing some kind of like um, mathematical thing in their brain yeah very intelligent person and um, they will immediately look at you sort of understand who you are and make up their mind and that is them coming in very quickly when you meet this person um, you will begin a new cycle in your life it is a new beginning for you and it this is, there is a very strong possibility that this actually leads to marriage because of the four of wands that is there so it is an indication that um that is the 1111 card okay it's 111 if you've been seeing a lot of like 1111 11, even 12 12 or 21 21 um 222 it's an indication of this energy that is coming in okay there's a new cycle that's about to begin and it usually starts a little while after you've ended something so it's usually an indication cycles don't start immediately after each other that's what we need to know when we end one cycle there is almost like a period of pause there's a couple of months sometimes um that we kind of don't see any movement or any changes it's just to clear our energy it's for us to to settle our spirits and to pull our energy back to the way it used to be because it will be very unstable to jump from one cycle straight into another we need to settle our energy to prepare us for the new beginning and this is what is coming in with this person being here with the king of inspiration i really do feel like it is their energy um even though they're they're very intelligent but they're a very creative person Honestly, the energy, these two energies together, yeah, can even indicate a person that's a bit of a genius, you know, um, the very creative energy here, um, very, out, very outspoken, they're very well spoken, very educated, that's what I'm going to tell you, that's what I'm picking up from them, but their education might be interesting, so their education could be in the arts, or it could be in um literature or in history or something of that matter it's not your your basic um you know standard education where people will go and study something for business or something like that they're studying something that's a bit in the creative field or they have studied that their work uh, is in this direction they're a very creative person even though they're highly intelligent and this person is coming in towards you they're going to make up their mind about you very quickly um, weigh you up up and down check you out and I think they're really going to like what they're seeing so you got to look forward to this with the 11 11 coming in here um, I really feel like you should pay attention to the signs when you start seeing that more and more just know that this person is coming into your life I want to ask now Spirit guides for my beautiful Tauruses out there, can you possibly show me some time frames? I'm asking something different for every every person in the reading because I feel like we need to see some time frame here. Let's have a look and see if they will show me time frames. Let's see what will come up. Sometimes spirit guides will do their own thing, you know what I mean? So let's see. There's your new beginning. you got to trust and you need to trust there with that four of cups. This is coming maybe quicker than what you think. Yeah, you need to trust because of this. You got a three of swords. Yeah, it's coming in very, very quickly. You are alone right now, though. You are alone. I feel like you are a single 
Taurus out there and you have been hurt in your past and the reason why you were single for a while is to heal from that accept it fully and let this be with that trash card trust card coming in there they're very very close in your life i really feel like you're going to meet this person within a matter of weeks there we go my beautiful taurus i'm wishing you the best of the rest of your day thank you so much for watching the reading bye